Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a really quick um, bunny rabbit finger puppet in anticipation for Easter, which when my son was little was one of my very favoriteest holidays ever. So it was just so fun, so cute, such a, a cute little holiday. All right, so we're just going to jump right in. I'm using Microsoft Paint and it's free on Microsoft computers. So we're just going to go ahead and click in here and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. And we're going to create, we're going to click our oval and we're going to create our first ear. And then we're going to select, we're going to copy it as close as we can to the sides. And then copy, paste, bring that over. Okay. We want it close, but it doesn't have to be crazy close. Okay. And then we're going to zoom back out a little bit. We're going to click our oval again. This time, however, we're going to click fill and we're going to keep it with the fill of white. So we're going to make a little face. Okay. Actually, let's do that guy a second. Undo. We are going to put our body on first. Okay. So let's zoom out so we can do a better job. Okay. So we kind of want it to be wide and tall. And then we're going to do this. We're going to choose, I'm sorry, my clicker is going everywhere. We're going to choose it to be filled again, but we're going to color number one is going to be white. We're going to use this to get rid of the top so that we can kind of, we don't have to worry about that top piece. Okay. And that's just a big, big way of using it as a, um, eraser. Okay. So let's click select. Let's start down here so we can get as close as we can. We want to get just to the very tippy top. We don't want to have very much white. You don't want it to go up like that, okay? So even if it cuts a little bit of the black off, that's okay. And we're going to move that right up here. Actually, I'm going to... Move it right there. And let's go ahead and get rid of those two little lines. Just bugging me. Okay, let's it only lets me zoom a hundred or fifty percent, so it's a little frustrating. Oh, I always forget I can do my control button. Nope, it still does that. Okay, so let's grab our ears and move them over. Okay. And then we're going to grab our oval. We're going to make sure it is filled. However, color number one needs to be an, a black color. Okay, so we kind of want it to be a little bit of an oval right here. There's the bunny and the bunny's funny head. Okay. And that makes it where we only have to erase a little bit. We don't have to worry about the top of the um, triangle or anything like that. So let's zoom back out. Or in. <laughs> okay, and we'll grab our eraser again. Let's go up here and try to get it as clean as we can. You can essentially leave that. It's just more work for sew art to have to figure out. And the cleaner you can make your images before you get it into sew art, the better it's going to digitize. There's a common misconception that once you have an embroidery machine, you can make custom embroidery and I myself fell into that but I didn't realize how much work actually goes into everything that you need to do to digitize and a lot of the higher end products are a little bit better at it they're a little bit more sophisticated but there's still a lot of work involved you know there's still a lot of snipping and cutting and making sure everything is clear and good okay so we have our bunny outline here we go 
boom, it's so cute. So now let's add some details, okay? So let's give it filled ears with pink, the inside color pink as well. Make sure it says solid color. And let's just make our little fill inside. How cute. Oops. Okay. Okay. Now this is just the concept of how to do it. If you guys want it to be really perfect and awesome, spend some time with it. Make it your baby. All right, so I tried doing it with a mouth and a nose and the mouth just was terrible. So, I mean, the yeah, the mouth was terrible. So I'm just gonna give it a little heart nose that will also serve as this mouth. Okay, I wanna move it over to here. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, and then we're gonna have go back up here to our oval, click black and black, and just make little black eyes. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna select, copy, paste, so that they can be the same color eyes, and do my best with the placement. But there we go, you guys. So there is our little bunny to take over to digitize. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to crop it as close as we can. Crop, and then we're gonna go File, Save As, PNG, and I'm gonna call it Bunny 2, since I already did one today to practice. Okay. So now I'm gonna just minimize paint and I'm gonna open so art. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go to file open and we're on our desktop, my desktop. I'm looking for bunny two. See, I did bunny earlier, with the mouth, it was terrible. <laughs> So click open. Okay, so the bunny's pretty big in this. There's 94 colors. You can see down here in the right hand, in the right hand part, there's 94 colors. It tells me that it's seven inches tall. Well, I need it to be half that size. So before we go ahead and um, do any color changes or anything like that, let's just go ahead and resize it right now. And like I said, my height has to be what the width is, unfortunately, 3.89, click OK. All right, so that's gonna resize it and get us ready for digitizing. We can crop it if we want, but it's not really gonna make any difference. So now let's go ahead and go into the color reduction and bring it down to three colors and we'll see how that does for us. Click OK, and it looks like there might be, when we do that, when we go down to such a drastic amount of colors, the pixels don't get a chance to shade. So they're just gonna grab from the last three colors to try to shade that in. We don't want that. So let's go back out here and go to color reduction and bring it down to 10, okay? And then we'll go into the merge colors. All right, so we want anything that's black and gray to be black, right? So let's go ahead and merge, 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 merge. Okay, and with the pink, looks like everything's pretty good. Let's despeckle just to be safe. And what is this pink? Okay, that pink we don't need. Let's despeckle it. Let's also despeckle all that gray or merge it. Let's merge it. Merge all of that gray. However, it's choosing pink. Hmm. Let's do a merge range of everything under 50%. Okay, and now let's merge. 
gray, merge despeckle it. Despeckle. Okay, that should be pretty clean now. All right. So if you're not very comfortable with the merge tool, just keep playing with it. I'm still learning it. It's, you know, it, it's all trial and error. You can, you know, read the manual and probably be perfect at it from the get-go. But I think even after doing it a bunch of times, it's still, you know, if you're not a computer-oriented person, it's doesn't, it kind of bleh, bends your mind a little bit. Mine anyways. Okay, so we've got her all ready for everything. She just needs to come over here to the stitch image. I'm assuming my bunny is a she. <laughs> all right, so in here, we're gonna click applique center line, okay? And we're gonna choose right up here at the top. Actually, let's have it start right here. Oh, hi kitty. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't know what you're after, but it cannot possibly be more important than what I'm doing. <clears throat> Oops. I did not mean to do that. Play your stitches. Okay, applique center line. We're going to choose the bean stitch. We're going to choose the setting of 2 for height and 25 to go around. And we're going to go ahead and choose right here for it to start. Okay, and so if you click this, it looks like we only have one set, but however it's going to come out is three different parts, okay? So I'm going to close the menu, and now since we've done that, we're going to go in and do our details. We're just going to choose the regular fill, and we're going to have it do the pink first. It's going to jump down here, and we'll cut that, and then we'll have it do the black. All right, and that's it. It is done. All right, so we can click File, Save As, and save another picture if we need to, but we don't need to. And here we can click Bunny 2, and I'm gonna choose Save. Okay, so now if you don't have So What Pro, if you don't have So What Pro, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have three, three, three bunny outlines to do. And then you're going to have um, your fills. So you're probably, you'll have five things to have to do. So um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to do step number one, step number two, do the details, and then go back for step number three. Okay? So in So What Pro, however, we're going to go ahead and go right into So What Pro so that I can add a monogram. Um, we're going to go to File open. We're going to open up Bunny 2. Click open. And there she is. Super cute. All right. So what's going to happen is it's going to give us our, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the top, the comments. This is our die line. Okay. And then it's going to give us our tack down. I'm going to change this to blue. I don't know why it's white, but tack down. And then this is our final stitch. And we are going to erase the whole bottom level of that stitch. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, this is ears slash nose. And this is going to be our eyes. Okay. So let's go ahead. We've got all of our pieces. Let's add our monogram in first. So let's go ahead and file, merge. And I'm just going to do a circle monogram that I have from Planet Applique. And I'm going to use mine, my, my, uh, monogram because I don't have any I don't know of any little kids that I'm going to be seeing anytime soon and if I don't make it for myself to keep around the house then and I don't have it to give it to anybody it just takes up space so 
Let's see. We're going to go right into Planet Applique. Let's go into Fonts. And we'll do the Circle Mono Font. Small. We want very small. And because Soa Pro is so awesome, we only have to collect, we only have to choose the the thing for the left hand first. Okay, so mine is going to be S for Stephanie. It's left. <laughs> Click open. Okay, but we're going to work on it over here. Okay, so then from there we're going to click icons. And it's going to give us this screen over here. Okay, and we're going to click the D, the middle D. And then the right hand M. And that just makes it really visual for you. Let's move them over from each other a little bit. Okay, it's not perfect, but you just gotta play around with it a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna click out of icons and I'm gonna change all of these to light blue. Okay. Oh, I want to choose the little flower as well. Sorry about that. I think I want to do that. I'm not sure. It might be a little bit too much work. Having to change all the different colors on my single needle. Let's see. That added one. To, yeah, that added way too much work. <laughs> Let's get rid of that thing. Delete. Or undo. Undo. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit, join threads, join threads of same color starting at number six. Click OK. And then when we grab number six, we can just bring it over here. Okay, it's going to need to be resized. So let's go ahead and do that. Cancel, that's not what I meant. Resize. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to one inch even. Okay, so that makes it nice and pretty right in the middle. Okay, and there's my little bunny. You can add bows to it. You can do whatever. All right, so also number two, we need to grab our cutting tool right here. The eraser. Let's go. Let's zoom in. And we're just going to erase this whole bottom stitch. And the reason is, is because we want the front to sew all the way around to capture the stabilizer inside of it. But we don't want it to sew the back bottom part um, because you need to be able to slide your finger up there. So... We're just going to get rid of that one, and that's going to be our final stitch. We're going to order them in a second. All righty. We're going to click yes, and that's going to make it where we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now let's go to edit, order threads, and I want number three to be the final stitch. So I need all of these to move up one. Okay, so three... Oops, I meant for that one to be number six. Three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so with this, it will give us our die line. Oops. <laughs> I had a feeling I was doing something wrong. Okay, our tack down, we didn't need to delete that one, so we're gonna actually have this be the final stitch. Oh no, that's gonna be a running stitch. That's not gonna work. Okay, so don't do what I did. Let's undo all of that. Let's see, number two. Do we still have that? Okay, so let's go ahead and order our threads first so we don't make that mistake again. We, meaning I. Okay, so number one, number two, we do need those to be full. And then we need number three and number four, or number, sorry, we need number three to be number six. We need number four to be number three. 
number five to be number four, number six to be number five. Click OK. OK, so what this should give us is our die line, our tack down, our details, our monogram, and then our final stitch. So now let's take our cutting tool, go into erase, click number six, go in for surgery. Okay. And you just want to take it and erase this very bottom part of the stitch. My dog is so bored of me right now. She wants to go outside so bad. <laughs> Can hear her pacing back and forth. We live in the Pacific Northwest and it's really pretty, but it's um, very rainy all the time. So we don't get a lot of really nice days in the winter and the spring. And she just wants to be outside when it is like that. And so do I. So, okay. So that looks like that should be everything. Let's put our description in there. Monogram. Oops. Why did that happen? Okay. All right, so it is all done. Let's click File, Save As. We'll click Bunny 2, Final, and click Save. And then I'm gonna stitch her out and we'll see how it goes. So from here, if you're confused as how to get it to your, from your computer to your machine, I'll show you really fast because I have to do it anyways. You can, stop watching the video right now if you don't really care about this part but it might be helpful to some okay so I open up any like the folder thing um I open up any folder on on uh, my computer to bring up this screen you look for your pc and then um, it'll show you if your machine is attached or not mine is under the removable disk so what I'm looking for is on my desktop Okay, and then we're looking for bunny to final. Did it save it on my desktop? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, and we want the PES, and we can't get a preview, and that's okay. So we can take it, we can right click and copy, copy, and then open up the removable disk and paste it in there, or you can just take it and grab it and copy to removable disk. Okay, and it might show a little thing saying loading or not, but then you can click on your, your removable disk and you can see that it's in there. Okay, so I'm gonna double check on my machine. It is in there and it's showing six moves. So everything looks like it's working pretty good. All right, I'm going to stitch out the image and take pictures and do a commentary and I will be right back. Thanks so much guys, bye-bye. Okay, so let's go ahead and hoop our stabilizer. I'm using a tearaway only because I can't find my cutaway right now. So I used a black thread to do the die line so you guys could see. So have the die line print out right onto the stabilizer itself. And then you go ahead and you put your felt on. I haven't cut my felt down, but you just wanna put a piece that covers the die line. Okay, and so it's gonna do the tack down stitch next. It's gonna put your bunny on, and then we can do all the details. We can do the ears, the eyes, and the monogram. I went ahead and changed my eyes to blue instead of black, even though they kind of came out creepy. Okay, so then we take it off, we flip it over, and this is what the backside should look like. Everything should be sewn to the stabilizer. And then we put our back piece on, and we're gonna tape it up at the top and the bottom. You're welcome to tape it at the sides if you want, but um, I find that just doing the top and the bottom is fine. Okay, and then you're gonna hit your final um, stitch and that's going to do just the sides and not the bottom. And I use a contrasting color thread to show you that it just does, does the sides. And I'll flip it over and this shows you that it just does the sides and not the bottom. So whenever you cut it out, you're gonna cut all the way around it and you're gonna cut that bottom piece right underneath the stitch line. And that's gonna keep your stabilizer with the front piece and then allow you an opening um, to use it as a finger puppet. 
So see, it's all right there. And, um, you know, a bigger hoop, you can probably do a few more of these. You don't have to say to just one of them at a time. And there she is all finished up. I hope you guys had fun. This is a really cute project for me. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.